Mr. John Kihong. Question 10, please. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to take uh, questions 10 and 11, if you will, uh, with your permission, please. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Home Improvement Program 2, or HIP 2, is a second round of upgrading for our HDB flats at around the 60th to 70th mark to keep our flats safe and livable up to the end of their lease. This will be launched in about 10 years' time. HIP 2 will be focused on common maintenance issues which occur in ageing flats. We will need to study the specific scope of work, including taking into consideration the condition of our older flats closer to the launch of HIP2. As HIP2 will be a significant financial commitment for the government, we will also need to see how to pace the works to take into account fiscal sustainability and the capacity of our construction industry. Uh, Mr. Saktiandi asked whether older rental flats are eligible for HIP1 and 2. Uh, HDB has in fact upgraded older rental flats, including uh, under HIP1. So we will similarly upgrade them under HIP2. Mr. Chong highlighted the need to minimize unnecessary expenditure between HIP2 and VERSE, and I agree fully with him. The details of these programs will need to be worked out, including when we offer HIP2 and when the flats are subsequently staged for VERSE and redevelopment. We will ensure that there is no wastage of public monies in planning the two programs. As for the technical details of valuation and acquisition pricing for VERSE, uh, we will need to study this in detail and ensure that we implement VERSE in a way that's fiscally sustainable over the long term. In fact, we had a discussion on this in the last parliament sitting. On Mr. Saktiandi's question on safety, we have various regulatory and inspection regimes to ensure that our HDB buildings are structurally safe, both during and after construction. This includes the periodic structural inspection, PSI regime, that ensures that buildings are regularly checked for structural defects. For residential buildings, the PSI requires that the inspection be carried out every 10 years. That's a nationwide requirement. For older HDB blocks, HDB in fact already adopts a more stringent inspection cycle of five years. Uh, we will ensure that such regimes remain in place throughout the lifespan of our HDB flats and will also continue to review our policies and benchmarks against other high-rise, high-density cities. Ms. Cheng Li Hui. Thank you, Minister. Just my question also on lease buyback. Does the voting <coughs> rights for the homes on lease buyback, the voting rights, does it belong to HDB for versus and uh, HIP? The voting rights for the versus and HIP, does it belong to the lease buyback tenant or HDB? And if, it, and if the homes are then or verse, right, what happens to the tenants under the lease buyback? So, uh, if I understand uh, Mr. Speaker correctly, what Ms. Cheng is asking, assuming that the flat has already been subject to lease buyback and the residual lease is now with the government, and at such point in time, if the HDB is indeed owning the flat at that point in time, then obviously the voting rights will reside with HDB. Sorry, so that means that if the resident is still, let's say, um, 10 years into the lease, that means the, rights, the voting rights belong to them? Well, I, 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 I suppose Ms. Uh, Cheng is asking, in the context of uh, lease buyback situation, assuming the resident is staying there at that point in time, then obviously that resident should have a say in any upgrading or verse decision. Mr. Pritam Singh. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Minister, just clarifying on HIP 2, um, some of the feedback that uh, I regularly get about HIP 1 is spalling concrete and uh, particularly spalling concrete continues to be an issue even though it's uh, uh, an essential item of improvement under HIP 1. Uh, some of the suggestions from my residents have been to consider uh, for future upgrading programs uh, hydrostatic solutions for uh, kitchens uh, so as to, to slow down the seepage of moisture into uh, the, 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 uh, between floors. Uh, and also shower trays for, for uh, toilets. Uh, and, and these items are uh, 
cheaper when procured in bulk. And, and these are some of the feedback that I get, and I hope the ministry can consider uh, some of these solutions for future upgrading projects. Mr. Speaker, I thank Mr. Singh for these suggestions. HDB indeed um, continues to take in feedback, suggestions, and do its own research to see how upgrading can be done better, and we'll be happy to study these suggestions uh, that Mr. Singh has highlighted.